for Will. Stefan is a climate change expert and he joins us now from Sydney. Will, thank you very much for your time. First of all, these temperatures, this fire behaviour, is this consistent with climate change? It absolutely is. And one of the ways we can measure this is a thing called High Fire Danger Weather Index. Uh, and that's the sort of weather we were just been talking about. Extremely hot days, uh, high winds, low humidity. We've been monitoring that for half a century and we see a significant increase in this type of weather over the last 50 years. That's been pushed up uh, by climate change, uh, by the emission of fossil fuels. We're seeing very We're hot seeing fires, fires that are behaving differently in the way that they might have in the past. There must be some desire from the government to implement policy to avoid this getting worse. Well, we seem to have a real paradox here in that uh, Australia is on the front line of many of the impacts of climate change. Last year we saw uh, massive bleaching of the Great Barrier Reef. This year we're seeing, seeing extreme heat, extreme bushfires, and yet our federal government is still pushing for increased use of fossil fuels. Uh, interestingly, though, many of the state governments are now taking matters into their own hand uh, and starting their own renewable energy programs to try to, uh, to get this under control. What kind of temperatures and fire behaviour are we going to see going into the future? Is this only going to get worse? It's going to get worse for another couple of decades simply because of the momentum built into the climate system from past emissions. This is a bit like trying to turn around a battleship. Uh, you can't do it instantly, but you've got to start turning the wheel if you want to turn, uh, turn the ship down the road. We actually have to do this now with climate change if we want to stabilise the climate system to prevent an ongoing long-term increase in these sort of conditions, we've got to start reduce, reducing emissions now and very deeply. Uh, Will, Stefan, thank you very much for your time.